Hello, hello, good afternoon, and good morning and good night, wherever you're watching from. Thank you for joining the live stream. And today we're just going to go quickly start from the beginning. Uh, this is Ragnarok Online, and it is a um, one of the classics that I love to play before, so I kind of brought it back. It uh, is a mass multiplayer online uh, role playing game. That's what uh, MMORPG is what it, the short acronym used to be called. And yep, um, so this used to be called MMORPG. Sorry for that in the chat, that's what it was. And you get to choose basically uh, a character that you start off with, and there's different paths that you can go on. And um, in Ragnarok, they're called job classes. So you can, uh, after you level up, and then you can change classes and become a certain class and play your role in uh, the game. Uh, and uh, later on, when you get into different areas of the game where it gets more difficult, where you require to play in a group with your friends and uh, you form things called a party. And we'll get into that later on, much, much later on. But I wanted to get you through the basics to kind of get, you know, the game started. So recently I just started up my own Ragnarok online server because I kind of want it more private and just play with local friends. So you're more than welcome to join us. And we have a Discord. You know, this is the game, uh, how it looks inside the game where there's a whole bunch of people playing. Um, we can get to that point at some point in time. And so to, just to get started on my server, um, it's called protonstar.xyz. And you can punch that in. It'll give you this menu. Uh, to start the game, you first have to register an account. So you want to go in and just kind of like um, put in your username that you want to use to uh, sign into the game itself. And then create a password, use your email address. Yeah. You can or don't have to really fill in this other information about gender and birthday and all that. Uh, create your account. Once it's created, then uh, you can go to the download section and download the client. So you want to click on that. And if it gives you any warnings or anything, you just download it. Download anyways. Uh, start the download process. Save it somewhere. And then once you got that going, uh, sometimes in your browser, depending which one you use, it might have to have a little, you go to the download section and then you'll see something and it says, uh, do you want to keep this file? You want to keep it. And then once it's finished downloading, then you just open the file. And then when it asks you to just follow the instructions on the page itself here, um, um, download the client, run that file once it's downloaded. When it has the open the extraction screen, um, you want to just, it, it will default to your downloads folder, but you just want to put C colon slash as the extracting point because then it'll automatically open uh, extract it to C colon slash gravity slash Ragnarok because you want to put it in the same location as I'll be releasing updates in the future and they'll just go into the same folder. So just put it there and then um, in the file browser, you want to open up and go to that location and then grab the Ragnarok online shortcut copy, put it on your desktop. And then that's where you open the game from. Uh, if you need to change some settings like screen resolution settings, there's an app inside that folder uh, called open setup. So run that and then you'll see the uh, settings screen and then you configure uh, whatever resolution that you want. I can put a couple of links of the instructions in the uh, chat below. So you'll, you'll be able to see that when I post the video into YouTube. And then we just play the game. So I'll show you, uh, open the game right now. So I've created an account already. So I'll start off, I'll start off fresh with a new one. So, um, this is the game itself. So you got your account set up, you put in the username into this box here that you signed up with. So I'll put in my account and then you just type in your password that you signed up there. And then, for, and then you get this screen and you just um, log into that one. And then now you're on the character screen. Um, you'll have different slots so you can create, you know, multiple characters. You don't have to stick with just one. Uh, so right here, you just pick one. And then for this demonstration purpose, I'm going to pick human. Humans have different job classes that you can change into later, like 
uh, for example, there's like swordsman. Uh, I think there's like archer, merchant. There's a whole bunch, and um, you get to choose that later on in the game, so it gets more interesting. Um, there are new ones called Doram Summoner, and then this is like one job class. So it doesn't really change job classes later on, so it goes from level one to level I think 175 right from the get-go. So humans need to go through this whole job changing process because they can be more kind of like tuned or specific to a certain, you know, type. Like you can be like fighter, you can be a long range, you know, um, attacker, or you can be like, you know, uh, a magician use, using magic attack. Cause there's certain monsters that are weaker to physical attacks. Some are weaker to like magic attacks. And uh, with certain magic users or like uh, priests and all that, you can be a support character. So you could be in the party to support the team to like give them buffs or like heal them or that sort of thing. But for this example, I'm going to keep it short and simple. I'm going to pick, everyone starts, if you pick a human, everyone starts off what is known as a novice. So I'm just going to keep it simple, pick just whatever hair color you want. Um, you can change the hair color to whatever you want here and then uh, give your character a name. Um, for this one, we'll just call him uh, Johnny Boy. <laughs> Uh, you can put spaces or whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as nobody created a character on the game. So once you got that going there, you pick your character, you can either press enter or you can hit this pink uh, thing called the pouring. You'll see them in the game, so you hit game start. So, okay, so you started it. Oh, okay, I'm stranded passenger in a ship. So I'm gonna quickly go through the interface first, and up here is your kind of like your quick toolbar. I've, I've got them set up in my shortcuts. There's an options button here, which is the gear. So you can set those kind of shortcuts here by going to shortcuts right here in the middle. And then you can assign them whatever keys on your keyboard, right? If you're playing with your keyboard. So we'll figure what, I'll show you what these do later on. And these are just like slots where you can, I'll keep it simple. So I'll just put one row for now so you can see what's going on. So I've assigned it one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can assign it all the way down if I want. And which I'll, for this demonstration, I'll do that. I'll just go seven, eight, and nine. Then I'll hit okay. Um, in the game settings here, you can you know turn on and off your music and background music. Um, if it's kind of loud, I can turn it down a little bit so that you can hear me. So. If you want to change like screen resolution or like full screen, you have to run that open setup app that's in the uh, game folder and then load up the game from there. You can't really change it to full screen and non full screen from uh, inside the game itself. So I'm going to return to game here. So a quick run through the interface. The top left here kind of displays your basic information. My name, my job type is a uh, novice. My HP is health points. That's how much, you know, uh, life points you have that you can take hits and survive it. SP is for uh, spell points and you need that to cast magic or use certain skills and all that so you'll have to increase that at some point and all right uh, I'm gonna close the party screen because I don't have any parties yet so this down here is kind of like a general chat so if people are playing with you or on the screen you can talk with them and the way you talk with them is you just press enter and then you'll see that little chat box appear if you go like hey and then press enter somebody in the room could see your comment hey and then anybody in the same map would see that message in the chat box if they read it so I'm going to start the game follow it through and we'll we'll do the basics together so I gotta follow these arrows I think so it's telling me I can so you can use the right mouse button click and drag you can turn the screen around just for you know basic things so that you can see like a 3d layout the first mouse button you can click to go where you want or you can click and hold to move around right but for this you just click and then it'll it'll kind of go to it so the arrow wants me to go that way what's he saying um i'm gonna use the wheel to zoom in and then you can kind of see it says quest okay there's a wounded swordsman i'm gonna click on him oh okay What's he saying here? Okay, um, in this the middle. Wow, thanks a lot. Uh, I don't know what happened to our ship, but we should go see the captain. Okay, so he wants me to go see the captain. 
Uh, body is too injured. Maybe you can go without me. Okay, he wants us to go without him. So find the fish. Click control. Click Alt U. Okay, so that's the quest window. Um, all right. So I'll close that. Uh, it says press Alt U to see the quest window. Perfect. So you press Alt U on the keyboard. Quest window comes up. You can click on this. It says you must escape from the ship wrecked on these islands. The storm lets search ruined people and um, that's still on board. Okay, um, gonna close the quest screen. Gonna walk around. Okay, there's nothing else to see around here. Okay, uh, no other places around here. Okay, all right, only one way out. Let's follow the arrows. All right, what's going on here? I got pink things on the screen. Got a, a moose here. Got something on his head, like it's like quest. Okay, let's talk to him. Oh, he's the captain. Okay, Captain Karoke or Karose or something. Karok. Uh, there are still people in the cabins. At least you are safe. Are you all right? Next. Uh, I'm all right, but others need help. Okay. Uh, there are many people left. I will send rescue team to rescue them. Thank you for your report. Okay, perfect. All right. Say, so look at the trees here. Follow them to the southeastern to find a new ship. The ship will take you to Islude, our original destination. Okay. Ah, speaking of wit, uh, those pourings on this island drop several materials we could use for repairs. Kill the pourings and bring two lumbers to the southern crew. Okay, job level up. Okay. It's a hard task, but you look tough enough. All right. Speaking of ends, you have equip to equip your gears. You should have a weapon and an armor equipped. Okay. To equip stuff, use the equip icon, which is click click. Okay, Alt E, and then Alt Q is the equipment screen. Okay, and. Alt A is the status window for to raise your bonus stats every time you level up. Okay. Uh, please properly allocate the stats you need to battle. Kill pourings to bring the lumber to the crew. Good luck. Okay. So first of all, I leveled up. That you saw that little flashing like angel wing that showed up. So your stats window is this one up here, which is the house looking thing or heart looking thing. I'm not sure, it's not clear. Or you can press Alt A. Alt A will bring up the stats window. You got this window right here. So I'm gonna quickly go through the stats. You can hover the mouse over each one and it'll tell you exactly what it is. STR stands for strength and it will, will do melee physical attack, power and weight capacity. So basically it makes you stronger physically and it allows you to carry more weight capacity. On your main screen here, info screen, it shows that you have a weight capacity of 2,030. Uh, I think that's pounds, so 230 pounds. So these are kind of strong uh, characters here. <laughs> and then agility says attack speed, flea rate, and physical defense. Uh, vit, uh, vitality, uh, maximum HP. Physical defense and magical defense. So those are good for those, for defending. Uh, int. Uh, intelligence. Stands for intelligence. Magical attack power. Casting time and magical defense. Uh, dex. Stands for dexterity. It is long range physical attack, hit rate, casting time, and magical attack power. L-U-K. Luck. Critical hit rate. Hit rate, physical attack power, magical attack power, and perfect dodge. Okay, so there's a lot of job classes in the game, and I kind of am familiar with it. I do want to go with, like, to start off the basics, I'm going to do, like, a swordsman class. So I, I mainly want to do, like, a lot of physical attack. So I'm going to put abilities that are related to it. So, you know, there's physical defense, physical attack, um... And then there's Vitality for maximum HP, so you want a lot of that when you're doing physical stuff. Um, you don't need Int, you don't need Dex. I don't think you need any of those unless, well, Dex you kind of want like for faster attacking. 
but uh, Intim decks are more for like range users or uh, magic users. Uh, luck could be for physical as well, but for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna make it simple. I'm gonna increase some strength here and probably increase some vitality because, uh, you know, as a warrior, you want a lot of uh, health to survive longer, but you also want strength because then you can kill targets faster. So I'll put up to 15. So once, once that you apply all these status points, that's what shows up here every time you level, how much status points you can apply. And each little press of the arrow depends on, it like costs how many status points on the right side of it. So a lot of these cost two to start off with, and you can see that the strength went up to three. So the next time I press right on it, it costs three status points to increase it one point. And then as you increase it, you'll notice your physical attack power goes up. So that's how that one went up there. So I'm going to close this window for now because I finished that. And then it looks like I've got a skill tree that... These are little notifications saying you've got something there that you can apply, right? Obviously the stats window, I don't have one point left and I can't apply to anything, so I'll just close that. And I click on the status tree. Looks like I gotta learn like basic skills. So you can see that all these little skills that you gotta learn. Level 1 does trading, allows you to do trading. Uh, level 2 allows you to do your mode icons. Level 3 allows you to sit and recover SP and HP. Oh yeah, that's what you gotta do to recover HP and SP when you're a beginner. Uh, enable chat room creation. Level 5 joins parties. Level 6 enables the use of Kafra storage. That's kind of useful in this game. Uh, level 7 organizes party. Level 9... Did it skip level 8? Oh, I gotta fix that description. Um, anyways, it says level 9 allows you to enable change to first job class. So we definitely need this to get to level 9. So I'm gonna put one level up there because it says I have one skill point. And then to apply it, you have to apply. If you make a mistake before you apply it, you can actually hit the reset button. And then, you know, your points don't get applied to that skill if you did have accident. But once you apply it, you can't apply, you can't reset it. So now I'm going to make that apply. Yes, it's permanent. See, now I can't, like, I can't reset it. I can't click on that. Okay, I'm going to close the status window now. And he said I got to kill pourings to get two lumber. Okay, I got to kill these things. So I'm going to do that. Okay, it looks like I got one lumber wood, or one wood, sorry. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to kill another one. Okay, I got two wood. Okay, that's enough, I guess. I'm going to go down to the guy that's at southwest. South? Southwest? Oh, him. Okay, talk to him. Unbelievable! Perfect! Any chance you want to join my crew? Enough talking. Come on, we're ready to set sail. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, I got a job level up. Okay, you want to go to Islude. Uh, take these magnifiers with you when you hunt monsters and find unidentified items. Okay. Using magnifier will identify the unknown item. Uh, maybe you already have some unidentified items in your fights with these pourings? No, I do not. Um, items? Okay, I got something in my inventory. Okay, I got a magnifier here. If you right-click on items, you can see what they are. Now, if you want the, it says like, magnifying glass uses or praise an item unidentified. Okay, so if you want to get rid of that description, you can close it with the X, or if you want to make it quick, just right click on the same item and it'll disappear. You can do the same thing with a bunch of stuff and right click on it and it'll disappear. So in the inventory, you have the use items tab, you've got an equipment tab, and you've got an etc tab, which is like everything else. So I'm gonna close the equipment screen now. And then since I got a job level up, you can apply skills again. I'm going to take this to level 2, hit apply, okay. Alright, I've got a level 2 skill now, I'm going to get rid of the skill winner with Alt S. Did I, did I level up status? Oh yeah, so, so I got status level up from, you know, leveling up the base level, so it gives me 3 points, now I got 4 to assign. Uh, I think I want to put it on more vitality, so I'm going to put 2 on here. Oh, no, I can't do that. Uh, physical defense. So maybe I'll do physical defense too, so I'll do that. Put a point there. Alright, they're all applied, so I can close that window now. Maybe I'll kill a couple more of these. Get a little level up or something, maybe. 
Looks like they're pretty easy. Alright. Miss. Hit. Oh, I got hit one. Alright, miss. Miss. Alright. You don't have to keep clicking once you start. You put it unless you want to run away. You can like click away and you can move. Like say for example, if you clicked one and then you're almost dying or you want to escape. Um, Alright, I'll hit this one. And then say you like hit it and then you like run away. You can run away. You have to click away. And you kind of come back and hit him if you want. Mm, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Come on. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. That was really close. I'm almost dead. <laughs> Alright. Do I have to talk to that guy again or nothing? Uh, does he say anything? No, he says just go on. Uh, does this person want anything? Had a good dream. Soon we will get to Islut and you can talk to other people like you just talked to me. Okay. I think the guy over there lost his memory. I gave him a name. Lumen. Uh, many youngsters visit the Rune Midgard Kingdom to chase their dreams. Islut is a satellite city of Frontera, the capital of Rune Midgard Kingdom. Okay, Frontera is the capital, so I guess that's where everything is. Islut welcomes young adventurers like you and just started and have a journey through the woods. Uh, you are one of them, of course. I would like to tell you more stories, but it's time to get ready for arrival. There is an academy in Islud for newcomers like yourself. Let me give you more details later on. See you back at the harbor deck. To get to the ship, uh, you should enter the sh uh, shining portal over there. All transportation is made through the portals. Okay, perfect. So portals take you to different places. Oh boy, what is the key we are? Okay, all right. Let's go to that portal, he said. He said it's down here. I'm gonna swing the map around. Alright, you can see that. Let's head towards Islud. Okay. Alright, I'm in Islud. Uh, oh, that's that guy again. Uh, no, I don't want to go anywhere. Alright, is this guy what? This is Islud, the best city to take wings to your dreams. Although I don't have any particular feelings for you, I've seen a lot of young people like you while operating the ship. There were those among them who succeeded and failed and went back after being unable to adjust. I want you to have a successful start with this place. Okay, did you know this? Islut is has a new institute for budding adventurers like you. You mean the academy? Oh, okay. Yes, it's called the Royal... Priatura Academy, founded by the Rune Midgard's lineage to help out new adventurers. A friend of mine works there, so I'll give you the introduction to him. He could make a lot of things easier. Okay. Uh, he usually talks to adventurers near the entrance of the academy. Go and meet him there. His name is Hun. I will mark his spot on this map so you can go see him. The minimap is can be seen in the top right corner of the screen. Okay, that's this thing up here. Uh, you can zoom in with the plus and zoom out with the minus, and the waypoint the NPC will be marked on it. Okay, I can see that it's kind of marked on there, but like, um, there's also a way to expand that window. Uh, so Alt U shows you the uh, quest that you have to do. Uh, also, the quest. On a side note, also is displayed on the screen right here. So it's always there for you that the quests that you have are, that are open or current, active. Um, looks like uh, this is just a description of like you can click on the mini map on uh, locations that are marked and then it'll start showing navigation arrows to them. Okay. So this is the mini map and down below it there is a maximize button. That's the second one from the right. You can actually click on that and you can have a full on map here. So he's got this NPC that was by the academy. That's the academy he says is towards the north. So that's up here. So you can actually click if you want it like direction arrows to go there. You can click on this and it will like highlight direction arrows on the screen as you can see. And then you can actually 
follow it and go toward it. But if you leave the mini map open, you can see where you are by seeing, looking at this head here. And then you can just kind of like go there without the arrows if you don't want the guiding thing. So if I go here, uh, okay, he wants me to talk to this guy or one of them. Uh, information staff and create tour academy staff. Most likely the academy staff. Okay, so this guy's Hun. It's his first step in the world. Speak to Mr. Hun. So this is Mr. Hun. Oh, you must be a new adventurer that Karak was talking about. I don't know where your homeland is, but Midgard is a good place to start your life's journey. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's I gave me one apple juice. Okay, perfect. It's a good to sight to see new adventurers start their journey. You must be tired. Need a drink? Okay. You can open the item window by clicking on the items icon at the top left portion of the screen. Uh, the, I, the That's this one that's marked here. It says inventory, so I open that. Okay, I see that new item there. Uh, the items are automatically categorized by consumables, equipment, and etc. And personal suitable... For each use, it will be the automatic settings per individual usage too. So use, equipment, etc. And this one's like a favorite. So between any of those three, uh, three um, uh, tabs, you can actually drag down stuff to the favorites and it'll put it in there. So, you know, it'll be in your favorite screen instead of being like all over the place. You'll see later on when you have tons of items. So you can have things in the favorite screen. The thing is, I don't know if there is a way to get rid of this from the favorites. I think you just... Okay, you just drop it back into the other tabs. So that's the apple juice. I think he says... Okay, nothing. Alright. Uh, what's this guy have? Quest. Hi, how are you? I'm in charge of navigation. Directing to the Islud key locations. I wish to propose a simple game along with this navigation would you that be okay okay sure let's play okay first of all how to check the minimap we already know that it's up there um you can check through the minimap screen top right of the screen yep uh if you receive information on a town or city warp can be marked on the map um control plus and down arrow on your keyboard and you can see the world map okay Oh, control and tilde. That's the one on the left side of your one button on the top left of your keyboard. So that's the world map. Um, we're in Islude, so that's somewhere here, right here. That's where you're on the map. Uh, I'll discuss the map later, but you can press the X or you can press the escape button on top, top left of the keyboard and that'll close the map as well. So next, uh, this will be useful, then we should play a simple game. I will mark three specific locations on the mini-map. Please visit those locations using the waypoints as reference. Okay, he marked... Oh, okay, I see them little glowy things on the screen. Uh, okay. I've hidden some useful items there. Uh, visit me again after going to all those three points, and I'll check it up on the map. Ah, there's somebody started out right before you. If you don't hurry, that person will take all the items, so hurry. <laughs> hurry, sure, sure, sure. Um, okay, so, he's marked on the map. Doesn't show up on this maximized map, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, looks like it's down you can see kind of see like that little arrow there that's where you are on the map um you can see it moving as i move so that's kind of that um it looks like okay the sign yeah i guess first taking battle with monsters where is your limit pve party with your comrade all those in the arena oh so there's a monster battling arena that's i didn't know that actually why is there nothing? Uh, of course. Uh, I already packed it. There were red potions hidden here. Can I have some? That's not fair. I was here first. They're mine. Uh, you better get to the next step faster or you will want this prize. Well then. Uh, Lumen disappeared with this long hair in the air and this guy. Haha. <laughs> okay. 
I'm going to close my inventory screen because you don't want to see that right now. So I'm going to go to the other two prices marked on the map. So when you see like NPCs, those are the little characters on the screen, you can talk to all of them. And later on throughout the game, you can get little quests. It looks like, you know, you can see that I have like two quests on my screen here. So I'm going to go, I'm not going to talk to that guy yet because I got to deal with the current quest that I'm currently on. Or else you kind of get overwhelmed. You can even bring up your quest screen to see what you got to do, right? Um, oh, there's still that cool drink. That's the one I... I'll do that in a second. I mean, actually, I'll finish that right now. So, this quest here says, You received an apple juice from Mist. Hunt, drink it in one go. Okay, let's try that. Apple juice, drink it. So, I clicked on it. Okay. I guess it doesn't spear. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to him again. Alright. No worries. What's this? Uh, I guess he talked to the sign again. It's gonna tell me I don't have any guests here. CZ sign. Travel is bound for like the Schwarzschild uh, Republic or Erunefeltz may board the airship here. Oh, so okay, so there's an airship here that takes you to a bunch of places. Except the signboard of the free airship, nothing can be found. Where's hidden treasure? Yo, sorry pal, I got here first. You should have used a fly wing like me, I did. Ha uh ha -huh. Why do you, these wings teleport? I guess because they're from creamy monsters. As the captain said, seeing is believing. The world is full of mysteries. Seems like Lumen beat you here again. Better get to the next location before Lumen does. Okay, what a guy. So it basically does a run through and kind of teaches you the basics of the game. It's good to go through the basics, but you, I mean, you, you're pretty much doing this by watching this video. So kind of skipping through all that. Uh, and then you can kind of just get started. Prontera Field. The city of Prontera is located to the north. Okay, that's good to know. Lumen, hello. Are you kidding me? Where's the treasure? Okay, I'm gonna say like, where's the treasure? Fly wings. If I had them, if I hand them over to you, you'll just waste them. So I think I'll keep them. What a bugger! Come on, this is just a friendly competition. I am only doing this to make you stronger. Now, so long, sucker. Report back to that guy. Okay. Information staff's presence. All right. That guy was right there, so you can click on him again and kind of the arrows will kind of point you that way, or you can go that way. <laughs> Look, there's a cat on the screen. Oh, there's another cat. What's with, the, what's with these cats? Alright, come back to this. Oh. Uh, let's talk to this guy first, because we're kind of trying to get juice. How's the taste? Uh, pretty good taste and sweet and sour, right? Might not be much, but it also has healing properties. Okay, leveled up. Oh, he gave me like 30 more. Alright. Uh, what do you plan to do now? Have you found a place to stay? Uh, don't worry. Um, that's fine. When you want to go by this way north, you'll find the academy building. Well, what is well is well, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Information staff, you're correct, preparation is the key, but if you need location info, please ask me. So you can always ask these guys for location info if you need to look for places. They're called information staff. Alright, need to talk to him because he... Alright, what's with that long phase? It looks like you found at all the locations I marked. Okay, turtle. <laughs> Lumen called me turtle. What'd you call me? Alright. Because you are too slow, yes, it's... It is, I have been waiting for you for what seems to be like forever. Shall I share it with you? Okay. I don't need your sympathy. That's so. Captain always told me to help the poor people, but you get rid of my chance is to help. Ah, irritating. Ah, you two calm down. Lumen took all of them. Johnny boy, I'll give you one set separately. Okay. Think of the reason it was my fault to leave one person's, but uh, sent both 
of you. That didn't really make sense. Some of these translations are from Korean, so they might not read right. If you do see something a little off, just report it to me in, in the uh, Discord and I'll definitely fix that up. Uh, simple and fair decision. Okay, now I'm going to see you again, my friend. Aren't you two friends? You guys both seem friendly well enough, right? Okay. Alright, job level up again. Well, this is my present to you. Hopefully it'll be useful. Give me more potions. Wonderful. Okay, so in my item, I now have 50. Okay, so both of them kind of gave me some potions. I got those fly wings he was talking about, so right click on it to see what it is. So the wings cut from a fly to made into enchanted item. Supportive item. Teleport to random cell. So that's basically wherever you're on the map it, and you need to like just random teleport, you would use this and it would random teleport you on the same map that you're currently on. That's what the flywing does. So I wanted to explain this quick item slot at the top. So these are good for like skills, items, potions. So for example, I'm going to put the potion in slot 1 because maybe I need it to heal up or anything, right? If I need to teleport someone random really quick, let's just put the fly wing in slot 8. And then I'll put the... what's this? Uh, enchanted butterfly wings, blah 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 blah. It's a supportive type. Teleport to save point. So this is really useful in case you're like about to die or something you're just gonna like go back to the save point. Then you can use that to go back to save point. Or if you're not dying and... I mean, if you die, you're gonna go back to the save point. You don't really lose anything, and that's fine. You don't really use the butterfly wing. The... I think you do lose current levels XP or some experience, which is this bar here. You do lose some when you die. Um, if, if, if you're out somewhere kind of like far on the map and you kind of walked out that way, but you want to go back to the where you last saved in the city, then you you can just use a butterfly wing and it'll bring you back there. It's shorter than, takes less time than walking there. So I'm going to close this screen. I'm going to close the item screen. Looks like I came to, went up two job levels, so I'm going to apply those skills. Uh, oh, I only went up one, sorry. Um, I'm going to apply that. Hit apply. Okay. I'm going to close the skill window. Uh, it looks like I got some status points, so I'm going to open that. I got three more. I think I'm just going to put it to vitality. So I'm going to do that, close that screen. Alright, what to do now? You kind of started the game and he said the academy's north. Okay, so I'm going to go check that out. Go up north here. Oh, before I do that, uh, earlier the captain was talking about like the equipment screen, which is this. I mean the item screen is this. And then the equipment screen is the second icon on the left there, so you can click on that to see what you have on. So later on throughout the game, you can get better items, uh, you can get gear to make you stronger and all that. So currently he's equipping a knife, which gives attack bonus 17. Uh, you can kind of see that if you pull up this status screen, there's that 17 right there. So your base is 17 from your strength, plus 17 from the dagger. That's giving you an extra attack power. And then you got a cotton shirt here, it gives you a defense of 10 points. You can see that you have a base point of 8 plus 10. So the higher defense you want to get, you increase agility. Agility will increase the defense. Physical defense, that is. So I'm going to close the shirt. I'm going to close the equipment window now. Close the item screen and close the status window. And now we're going to go to the academy and let's find out what's in here. Priatura Academy. So the academy person here, uh, she's the receptionist. Welcome to the academy. I am your charge at a guide and registration and of education courses. What can I do for you? Um, Want to register for the academy, I guess. Let me see. Your name is Johnny Boy. I will make new registration for you. You can choose the course freely and each course individually. All right. This is the basic requirement for the education course. Please make good use of it. Be careful when you won't be provided again. All right, gave me a new free job level. Uh, it is your first step to be adventure that you made the visit with us. Uh, on our new next meeting, I anticipate you will grow up a bit more before me. Okay, sounds good. Guy trainer, welcome to Kafra service. It is always close to your heart. 
For those who are using the CAFRA service for the first time, CAFRA service offers through information rundown. Tell us what you'd like to know about the CAFRA service. Um, saving. So these CAFRA employees that you'll see on different cities. Uh, can, uh, I'm just going to run through for you instead of reading this because they're just going to go through what I'm going to tell you and make it really quick. So each CAFRA service allows you to save at different cities so that when you die you respawn at that location. Um, if you forget to save at a different city and you kind of like teleport it around to different cities and you're kind of far and you die, you go back to the original place where you saved your save point. Unless you intentionally wanted to die and go back there after you die. There's other reasons why you do that later on. And then there's like storage services where you can store all your items so that you're not overweight as you're, you know, adventuring. Teleport service allows you to teleport to different towns that that town supports to the destination. <clears throat> uh, push cart service is for like, if you want to become a merchant and you want to sell items that you picked up and got throughout the game to other players. <coughs> but that requires a merchant job position. So I don't need to do that. Um, so I got a new skill. I'm going to apply that. Apply. Okay. There's these other uh, skills here that requires a quest to complete them. I kind of know where they are, so I'll kind of just go through really quick to save some time. First aid. Requirement uh, to finish a quest to get this. Uh, skill form. Supportive. Target self. <coughs> It uses 3 SP to restore 5 HP. Alright, let's go get that. <coughs> Sorry. Need to drink some water. Stay hydrated, people. Um, it's very healthy for you. So if you go to this left room, there's going to be a NPC here that helps educate the... the therapist will help you educate for the first aid. Are you a student? Do you have any problems in your body? Um, you can either read, go to the description and read what it all is about, but I just wanted her to teach me the first aid skill. So I'll select the second one. You're commendable. First aid skill is that transfers SP into HP during an emergency situation. Okay, already I learned it. Recovery ratio is very minimal. It can help you avoid dying, but won't give you much HP. Alt S to open your skill window to see your skills. We already knew that. F12 on your keyboard lets you open a shortcut to open up with a small compartment to register your skills to. That's that thing we're talking about at the top. This is a skill compartment window or item window. So if you press F12 now, you can see expanding or contracting. So I think you can go as high as like you can hide it all, or you can have it open. Open, open, and open. You can have four rows of skill slash item windows and you can assign those shortcut keys in that other set um, options setting here. It says shortcut keys. So you can assign all those rows. So that's a uh, row one, row two, row three keys, and row four keys. You can assign them all to whatever you want. Um, it would be a good idea to configure yours. And then once you finish, you hit OK, and then it assigns, you can see the letters that I assigned to all these rows, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Q, W, E, R, T on the keyboard. Um, but for this example, I'm going to keep it small, so I'm going to leave it as one window. And then, so we got that new skill, and to put that skill into the skill window, I'm going to just like, see where it turns red? When it turns red, you can click on it, hold the mouse button down, drag it into that window, and put it there. So now when I press 2 on the keyboard, it'll activate that skill. Which I'm not going to use now because it doesn't really do anything. So I got my basic skill points to 1, so I'll reapply this one to level 5. Hit apply. Yes. And then get rid of the skill window. <laughs> what showed up in inventory? Okay, new, more potions. Whoa. 350. Okay. I'm going to close that. Um, looks like status window I leveled up again. So I'm gonna put some more on strength. So I kind of want to kill monsters faster. So I'll just put a couple on there. Get rid of that. Uh, okay, close. What do you want? Mm, 
What's Red Herb Quest? Uh, so you can do more quests if you want, and I'm going to skip this. Uh, you can do it on your own time if you want, so I'll just skip that for now. It's not that important. If you open the skill window, there's another skill here called Play Dead. Uh, it requires you to finish a quest, novice only. So only as a novice class you can use this Play Dead option. Uh, well, I was supposed to say Faint Death. Feign? Feign death. Feign death. I was supposed to say Faint Death, I think. Yeah, faint death to avoid uh, the menacing menace of nearby enemies. The play dead status is cancelled by casting this skill again. Oh, so you can play dead in, uh, indefinitely until you stand back up. That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it just like lasted a certain amount of time. So I guess it'll last a while. So to do this play dead, it looks like, you know, it's this guy off on the side. It says Instructor Argus. Uh, it doesn't say where to do it, but it's right here. So you speak to him next. He's playing dead. A man is lying here. He's barely breathing. Uh, is this maybe an accident? Yes, this is a murder. There's a murder here. I swear on some old person's grave, I will solve this case. So, uh, yawn, who are you making so much noise next to me? Uh, you're not, you aren't dead? Uh, dead? Who? Me? <laughs> Sorry for laughing, ha ha ha, I was ta taking a nap because the weather is good, but you weren't breathing. Uh, that? Right, it makes sense that you misunderstood. I used the skill play dead because I didn't want to be disturbed by monsters or someone else. I never thought someone could think of me as actually dead body. Oh, I see, so you're a new novice who just arrived here? Uh, I guess it's unexpected and surprising that you want to learn to play dead? I am sure that you want will help you. How do you think about it? Um, yeah, I want to learn it. All right, okay. Uh, you made the right decision. I will teach you for good. The novice does not know the potential power of himself or now the strongest, or how the strongest enemy is. There are situation types of, of novice who studied well, but I guess we are not. Just take prompt action and sometimes you'll be de defeated by strong enemies. Huh? You're right, this is my story. I was getting sick of being defeated. Uh, one day a good idea came to me, mine. If I pretend to be dead when I find a strong enemy, I was faced with the risk of death because I was not good at pretending to be dead. Even when I look back at the times, it was still frightening and thrilling. Let's continue to talk. So Ever since then, playing dead started working out for me. And then I could hold my breath for a long period of time. That was a problem. Clever monsters were checking out my breath. So I had to train myself to hold my breath for a long time. Sounds complicated, but it's quite simple. If you feel like you can beat the enemy uh, when a strong one appears, just fall to the ground and pretend to be dead. Oh, it's like, you know, like you're fighting in an area where you can defeat the kind of like the small monster. Because I've seen like some monsters like super powered and they're kind of glowing, right? So it's a good idea to have that skill to play dead when you see those. And then until they walk away and then you just like stand back up and then you go about your business. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. Hold your breath about 10 seconds and talk to me later. I won't... I won't admit you if you talk to me before that time is over. Okay, so 20 seconds. Start. Alright, so we'll do something else for 20 seconds. We'll come back. Um, I wanted to show you what the, the Kafra employee is, where you can save your game, uh, save point, and then you can use the teleport service and storage and all that. So, you'll see these uh, Kafra employees around, and they'll have these little, like, bag icons above their head. Um, this is the one that you want to talk to. In some towns she looks slightly different but it'll still say Kafra employee. And some Kafra employees do different things as well but most, most of the ones that are around in most cities and central areas will have a save point. So you click on them, you hit next, and then they'll give you the option, right? So you can save, use the storage, and teleport to different locations. And if you're a merchant class you can rent a cart and then there's information if you want to look up stuff. So say if I wanted to save in this town and then if I died I would come back right at this spot in this town. So I'll save here for now and if I die I'll just come back here. 
So if you got a bunch of stuff in your inventory and you don't want to keep it in here, like you want to split it off a little bit if you're kind of overweight. If you're overweight and it's a, in, it turns red here when you're over like, I think it's like 90% of your weight total, you can't attack anything. So you have to like offload a bunch of stuff or sell it. Uh, selling uh, currency in this game is called Zenny. And um, all characters start off with 100,000 to begin with. And that you use those to buy potions, items, and... Uh, new equipment and all that. So to get more Zenny, you could you kill monsters for all these etc. items, which you can bring back to the towns and sell them in the uh, NPC stores. Like any of them will buy them as you sell them. <laughs> um, if you wanted to like keep a whole bunch around for certain quests and all that, because certain quests will require certain items, you can use the storage and put it away. So if I use the storage and then hit next. Um, sorry, hit next, okay, next, uh, wait, is this broken? I think I waited too long. If you wait too long, it kind of breaks everything. So I'll just hit this, hit this, use storage, hit okay, and then hit next. What the heck? Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, Need novice needs to be basic level 6 to use the storage service. Right, 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 right. Alright, I'll just save it for now, and then we'll come back to that in a bit when I'm high enough level. So, all right, I think it's been 20 seconds, so let's go to learn that play dead skill now. Gonna have to walk to this guy. Okay. All right. I think it's more than 20 seconds now. We can talk to him again. Learn to play dead skill. Perfect. Good job. All right. I've learned the skill and check the skill tree. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to put this into my three slot. Close this. Okay, let's get the basic job level up. And it looks like I got to go in outside and attack a bunch of monsters to get the level up. So let's go and do that. Thanks for sticking around for like, that's kind of like the beginning part of learning how to play the game and all is kind of excruciating. Um, these are like portals and buildings and all that. You can talk to these people to learn more about the game or different areas and all that. Where this is, this here in Islud is called the uh, tool shop. So you can, got a bunch of guys here that sell things. Uh, monster tamer, tool dealer. So, so the tool dealer typically sells potions and all that that you need to restore things. You can buy or sell. So you can click on any of these guys to sell all your items because it'll open up inventory like if you wanted to sell something you would just like go like that and sell it but I'm not gonna do that um, cancel that so if I wanted to buy stuff you can buy sp things from specific sp specific users um, you can use this to expand this window say if I wanted to buy like you know like, I don't know, like five of these um, you can right click on to see what it does and it restores 325 to 405 HP. That's kind of wasteful for my level because I've only got 73. Um, you'll need the bigger ones as you gain levels and become stronger. So right now all I need is red potion because it heals 45 to 65 each time you click the bottle. There's a bunch of things that you can buy. Say like I wanted to buy another butterfly wing. Say if I wanted to buy like 10 more I would just put it like that. And then you just hit the buy button and then it shows up in the inventory. And then I'll cancel that for now. So if you look around, there's different pe merchants that sell different things uh, for different job classes, but the basic ones are usually at the top. So there's a weapon stealer and an armor dealer. Say if I wanted to buy a different weapon, I could. Um, uh, let's see what I can use. Like the knife is what I have already. So that's a 17 attack one that we hit. Um, let's see, Cutter, weapon level 1, requires Swordman, Merchant, Archer, Merchant, Thief, Soul Linker, and Ninja classes, so I can't use that. I uh, can't use that either. Uh, oh look, lo base level 2, Novice. So I could use this one, one-handed sword is 25 damage. Uh, attack 39, level 2, Novice, okay, I could use that one too. Blade. Blade does 53 attack damage. Uh, base level 2 required, novice. Looks like I can use that one as well. Katana. Slayer. Base level 18. I'm not even that high. I'm gonna get a blade because I can still use it. 
So, I just buy that. Alright, buy. One blade obtained. Okay, gives you something special about that. Uh, Alright, I want to go to my equipment tab, so I'll click on that. Oh, I got some other items here too. Oh, neat. I should check that out. So I'll put the blade into the inventory, uh, into my switch of my weapon. So what are these? Uh, Taylor Ninja Suit. Requirement Novice. So it doesn't have a job, uh, you know, it doesn't have a level requirement. It's got uh, 25 and my current one has 10. So I think I'll swap it in. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to switch it with my cotton shirt. All right. What's this somber novice hood? Garment type. Defense 4. All right. I'll put that in my garment slot. You can click anywhere like on the screen on that whole equipment screen you don't have to put it in the exact slot it'll like if you want to remove it you go like that you can put it anywhere and it'll automatically put in the slot that it's supposed to be in so as long as you drag it over to the window that's all you need to do novice slippers five defense requirement novice okay so I'll put slippers on so it shows up in the you know the, the boots section this is novice eggshell defense six Headgear. Alright, let's put that on. I'm gonna close that. Put that on my headgear. Aha! Look, it changes on the character. I got a little eggshell on my head. Neat, 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 neat. Alright, uh, novice guard. Seal, 20 defense. Oh, let's put that on. Uh, novice goth. Dagger, 63. Oh, I shouldn't have bought that sword. Oh, well. This one's better, 63. Oh, I guess you get this from the academy, maybe. Oh, I'll just put that one on. All right. Uh, let's close that screen. Uh, what's this creature? Creatura hat. So that's interesting. This one gives you plus 15 to my HP, which is at 79, plus 5 SP and two to defense and this one gets six defense hmm it's kind of a trade-off so i think i might go with more hp let's put that on instead all right i'm gonna close that window i don't need these items so i can just sell them so i'm gonna click on this and hit sell uh get rid of my knife get rid of my cotton shirt uh, resell the blade back for less whips. I'm gonna get rid of the eggshell head. Sell that. Alright. Oh, I got these little... Oh, those are achievement challenges. Oh, so there's achievement challenges here that you can go through. So you can do, like, achievement challenges, quests, or um, certain things to, you know, see how your progress is in the game. Let's see if I can find any armor. Buy. Is there anything better? What's this? Lower head? Accessories? Accessory? Head? Okay. Uh, can I use this? Swordsman class? Nope. Nope. Uh, shoes? All jobs except novice. That means me. I can't use it. Swordsman? All jobs except novice. Uh, no novice there. No novice there. Okay, I can't use any of these new items unless, like, I get new levels, I guess? What's this? Novice Amulet. What's the point of getting this? Accessory. Weight. 20. No defense whatsoever. Okay. Useless. Alright, cancelling that. Alright, let's go out and do some, uh... Let me close my equipment screen. <laughs> Looks like I'm buffed up now. Got some power. Yeah, see, I got, like... 45 plus 19 attack now. I got some defense with me stacked up at 66. All right, let's get rid of that. Oops, no one. All right, let's head out. Let's do some uh, leveling up because I think that's what, you know, the point of this part of the stage is to level up. I want to give a quick walk. I think I have enough time. Oh, it's been an hour and... Oh, it's only been an hour. Okay, I'll do 30 more minutes. Uh, I'll do a quick like run through of like getting to the uh, hopefully we can do like get to the first job class as a swordsman because then um, 
Uh, there are other job classes in different towns and all that. You kind of search for it. So you can stay as a novice for quite a long time and kind of like decide what job you want to do. Um, you don't necessarily have to be a swordsman. Uh, ooh, I can kill him in one hit now. Job, blah, blah. Okay. Hey, these things are coming. Alright, there's items on the ground that you can pick up, I guess. I picked up a jellope, got a little clover. Can I kill this? No? Yes? Oh, yes, I can kill those. Job level up. See, every time you have a job level, it gives, does that little flashy thing on the screen in the middle with the wings and all that. And you also have notifications in the bottom right and the bottom left of the screen. Uh, the bottom left is for stats. No, sorry, skills. So I can increase my basic skills two levels because I went up. Oh, I went up three levels, sorry. So I'm level eight now. Hit apply. Yeah, okay. Get rid of my stat screen. So the bottom right one is for like stats. Oh, the other one was skill. So I got three levels here. So I'm gonna go up. Uh, hmm. Let's do vitality because as a swordsman, I'm gonna need vitality. So I'm gonna put that up. Uh, maybe one more. All right. Close that window. Let's go level up some more. Okay, leveled up again. Open my stats window. I'm gonna save the points. For, actually, I'm gonna put it on uh, agility. All right, perfect. And keep going and get some more levels here. My job level up. I need to pick up these items too. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Get some progress here. Let's go down. Oh, looks like you can twirl around. Oops. Let's go over here. Things called a pouring pink thing. Maybe some people call it pig face. All right. Come on, die. Kill, kill. Uh. All right. All right. Ended him. What's that? Okay. Fluffy bunny, maybe. I don't know. It's a little. Little pouring. What are these things called? I can't really read. My screen is kind of small. Fable? That's a fable. Alright, I leveled up again. What's this thing called? I'm gonna zoom in. Lunatic. It's called a lunatic. Looks like a fluffy bunny to me. I call it fluffy bunny. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do my level ups really quick. Okay, uh, let's apply more string. Close that. Skills. Alright, I'm on the ninth skill now. I think that's all you need to go up to the next job class, so if you're certain about the way you want to go, you can kind of do it right away. So you don't really have to wait. Um, but you can stay a novice for a long time if you want. If Wait, where, are, where am I going? I'm gonna check the map. Uh... Oops, wrong way. I want to go which way? So this way? No. What? Which way am I going? Is that right? Yeah, okay, that's right. Back in Islude! Alright, let's go to the... Uh... I think it's called the Swordsman Guild. Um, let's become a Swordsman class. So uh, there's a resource online you can look up. You know, you can Google search uh, Ragnarok online job class. Uh, I've also shared the link in my Discord server, so you can actually see the classes and then choose what might be interesting for you later on. They do have walkthroughs on there as well, so you can kind of follow the walkthroughs to get to that job class that you want to do. There's quite a few. Um, let me pull that up and see if I can uh, quickly read to you what job classes there are. Uh, it's in the Discord server and the channel Game Info. You can click Job Class. So from a novice, you can choose between six job classes as a human to go to Swordman, Mage, Archer, Merchant, Thief, and Acolyte. Those are the very, very first jobs. And then later on, you have like second class jobs, uh, transcendence and then transcendent second class and third class jobs uh, in the newer releases of the game they have a fourth class but I didn't include it in my server here 
I might upgrade it later on to have the fourth class, but um, right now it's not available. So. Uh, let's do the Swordsman quest. So there's a Swordsman guild here. This is the Swordsman guild. Why are you here? I definitely want to just become a Swordsman. Let's see. I want to be a Swordsman. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. All right. He says, do you want to be a Swordsman? I just clicked that. Uh, oh, I see. He wants confirmation. Yes, I do for sure. Because once you change to it, you can't change to another job class. So be careful what you pick. So you can save novice for quite a while until you decide on which way you want to go. But I would suggest kind of like going to it right away because then you can uh, build your stats based on your type, your build type. Like, you know, I built my stats based on swordsman type, so I'm going to go do that. Job level up. Level 1. Novice Falcon. Falchion achieved. Okay. So it looks like I got a new weapon for the Swordman class. Oh, it looks like I took off all my armor and stuff because it looks like I can't use it anymore. Uh... Yeah, so that gotch item was only for a novice, so I can't use it. So novice falchion is like 59 attack, so I can put that on. Uh, novice slippers can't use anymore, can't use that anymore. Can't use that anymore. Can't use it anymore. Great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so I gotta go back and buy new items because I cannot use those. And I don't want to go out defenseless and be a weak swordsman. Um, at the top left by your name there it says uh, basic info. Now you can see that you're a swordman class. It says Johnny Boy, swordman. Your job level is now 1. Each time you change class your job level returns to 1 because it needs you need to gain those job levels to utilize all these skills, these new skills for that job class. Um, you can take a look at them later on. Uh, each one does something else as you hover the mouse over them. Okay, let me get rid of that skill window. Right now I just want to go buy items and go back out and, you know, increase the job level and show you how it's increased and, uh, you know, how you upgrade your skills. Uh... Let's go up here. I need to. I'm gonna check out what weapons I can get at level 11. Okay, he said I had to be a swordsman to use certain items. So that one's not very good. I have a strong one. I have a 59 right now. Uh, Katana does 60 damage, all level 4 is required. Slayer does 90 attack, 18th level required. I can't even use that yet. 60 is not very different from 59, so I'm gonna just stick to my current weapon instead of buying a new one. So I guess I can't get any of these right now. I'm gonna get some new armor because it looks like I need something. I'm a swordsman level 11. Let's see what I can get. This doesn't have a requirement, so I'm gonna go to shield. Uh, shoes, 10 defense. Boots, 16 defense. Swordsman, doesn't require a job specific. Okay, I'll get some of that. Wait, how much do I have? 99,000 is any. Oh, okay. I gotta be careful what I buy because I only have a thousand. Uh, maybe I wanted like a chest armor or something. What is this? Full plate. Level 40 base required. I can't do that. No base required right here. 65. 55 defense. Hmm. So I have 60. I think that's too much. Yeah, I can't buy that. Let's put back the shield gives me 60 defense armor gives me 55 so maybe it's better to get the shield and the boots how do armor give to 35 that gives me 42 and it costs 22,000 Hmm. Maybe it's enough. Maybe I'll save up for now and maybe I'll get more stuff to sell later and then I'll uh, get the other items later on. Oh, I gotta sell these ones. That's right, 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 right. Let's um, sell the novice stuff because I can't use it. I'm not a novice anymore. Oops, what's this? Sell this. Sell that. So those are the items you picked up a while ago so you can like See how they have some prices? Like each one has is worth 100 zenny, 7 zenny, 10. These accumulate really fast so they can, you know, like, you can 
put them into the store and sell them all, right? And get some zenny so that you can buy other cool stuff. Uh, what is this? Novice Hood? Chrysalis? Okay, those are all the sellable. Oh, Clover. Oops, wrong one. Uh, all of them. Jellipee. All of them. Okay, and then I can just sell. I get 182 zen. Oh, that's it. <laughs> the novice stuff is nothing. Wow. Well, I got it for free, I guess, so it's gonna be worth nothing. Alright, let's go back out and. So I've already gone through the basics and I think I'm going to call it for a day. Thanks for coming and watch. Uh, like and subscribe to the um, YouTube video when I post it up. Uh, if you have any other questions that, in regards to the game, uh, just post in the comments below in YouTube and um, yeah, I will definitely answer it in the next stream and then uh, you can learn more about the game. For now I'm just going to continue on and kind of level up my job level and apply some skills. Um, I'll just show you a couple here. Um, yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, I got two job levels, so now I can apply two skill points. You can see what's useful for you. Look, like Sword Mastery. So some of these, they say passive skills. That means um, if you apply the skill points to them, you passively use that skill. It gets stronger. You don't have to actively use it as a skill to attack. There are some items where it says like skill form offensive. So this is like a bash. Uh, so I'll do one of these as an example and I'll put sword passive skill. So this, this already applies to your bonuses. So this is going to add attack plus four passively to every attack type. So bash is now level one. It does 130% attack damage if I use the skill. I'll apply this to get the skills. Now that I have the skill, I'll increase it to level 1, which is already. Now I'll hover over it so it shows red, and then I'll drag it up to the window where I'm going to use the skill in number 3. And, hit up. and then I'm going to close the skill window now. Now if I press 3, uh, three, it shows, see the pointer changes that little circle icon, and it snaps to the, the enemies. That'll actually use the skill, and then when you click on them, it'll actually use that skill on them. So if, Bash, see? 123 damage. Nice big skill shot. But if you just click on them with the normal arrow, it just attacks normally and the damage should be less. See, 93. But then if I go and click it with the bash again, let's see, I'll click 3, it shows that little circle. That means your skill is being applied and then you hit him. Boom. Alright. So those are up. And then I'll apply another one to bash. And maybe I'll apply another one to passive skill to get stronger. So when you level these up, the skill stays at that level that it was. If you, the one that you put into your um, the skill slot, the shortcut keys, they stay that level one. It has a little one beside it right up here. If you want to use the level two one, you have to press the right arrow on it and then replace that skill. See now it says level two beside it. Okay, and that's it. Um, any more questions, just post it in the comments below and I will be happy to answer in the next live stream. Thank you for watching everyone. Uh, feel 